Jeff and Joe's Puerto Rican Kitchen, where we show you how to make easy, authentic Puerto Rican recipes. Today we're making picadillo, but first, two things. First, check out the swag. My buddy got this, and I've been dying to show it off on the channel. It's awesome. It's got our logo emblazoned on the chest, uh, it's real chef jacket, and it's even got a shoulder pocket for my tasting spoon. I'm sure somebody's gonna be like, that's, that's not how you do it. And there's gonna be angry comments below, whatever. I'm like, I like it, I'm excited about it. I hope you guys like it too. Second, we're rolling out a website. Um, so a lot of times people have been leaving comments in some of the videos saying that they can't find the ingredients. Uh, now we always put them in the video description, but you have to click the show more button. So it, it gets lost sometimes, I get it. Um, so we're gonna move all the content over into a website, jeffandjoespr.com, check it out. Uh, we're gonna have the recipes, we're gonna have the ingredients, we're gonna have step-by-step -step instructions, uh, and links to the video. So you guys can all go there, check it out. Um, the whole point is just to make it a little bit easier, to make it as easy as possible for people to make great Puerto Rican food at home. So check it out, let us know if you like it. Anyways, now onto the dish, picadillo. Um, so picadillo literally translated as like chopped finely. I think that's that's the literal translation. Uh, translated as a dish, it's probably more like seasoned ground beef. And although I have seen it at restaurants as like a standalone plate, like you get some rice and picadillo, more traditionally, or at least the way I've seen it more often is that picadillo is a component that you use to make another recipe, right? So on this channel, we've made patelón de maduro, um, we've made patelillo de carne, and both of those use picadillo or just seasoned ground beef, and right? So in the patelón, you layer it with the plantains, in the patelillos, you stuff it in the turnover and fry it. Um, so we've done it before, but I wanted to make a separate video just to make it easier for people to find, uh, and also, we're gonna use it in a different video that we're also doing this week. We're doing pionos. Uh, and so just gonna separate them out, make it easier for everybody uh, to do it. So in terms of what's in it, again, super simple. We got ground beef. Um, I got some ground chuck, 80-20, real straightforward. Uh, we got some cubanel peppers, some garlic, uh, some onions. Then we got some sofrito and olives. We got tomato sauce. We have some adobo. Uh, if it looks familiar, it is. It's from it's from last week's video where we made adobo from scratch. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, really go check it out. Um, but you can use Starbot if you don't have this, that's fine. Last, um, we have some annatto oil and then some vegetable oil. It's gonna be super easy, guys, so let's get cooking. In making picadillo, the first thing we need to do is chop up our veggies. As the name picadillo suggests, we want to finally chop everything we are adding to the meat. So go ahead and finely dice your garlic, your onion, your pepper, and your olives. As best as possible, try to chop all of your veggies the same size so everything cooks evenly. Once your veggies are chopped, let's go ahead and brown the meat. Heat up a wide saucepan on medium-high heat, and once it's hot, add your vegetable oil and achiote oil. The oil should shimmer as you add it, indicating the pan is hot enough. Now add your ground beef and begin sautéing it. As you sauté it, use your spatula to break the meat into little pieces. Again, the name picadillo implies that everything is finely chopped, so we want to finely mince the meat as we cook it. As you are cooking the meat, you'll see a lot of liquid building up in the bottom of the pan. Keep cooking your meat until most of this liquid has evaporated, and then go ahead and add your diced veggies. Stir to incorporate your veggies and then let this saute for three to four minutes until the onions are translucent. Next, add your sofrito and saute for another two to three minutes. Finally, add your tomato sauce and your adobo and let it saute for another couple of minutes until any remaining liquid has evaporated. Now taste your picadillo for salt and adjust as necessary.
Once seasoned, remove your picadillo from the heat and let it cool down. Once cool, and if you aren't planning to eat it immediately, move your picadillo to an airtight container for storage. As long as you put it right into the refrigerator, picadillo will keep for a couple of days and you can use it for any number of Puerto Rican dishes. Enjoy! And just like that, you got yourself some picadillo. So again, guys, a uh, real, real great dish, real, real basic, but real tasty. A lot of deep flavors from all the peppers and the onions and the garlic and the sofrito and it's all the good stuff that you have in Puerto Rican food. Um, and so again, uh, this, is, this is a component of a lot of other dishes. Um, we're gonna do some pionolos. We're gonna put that video out uh, this week as well. So be on the lookout for that. And you'll see how we'll incorporate it into other foods. And so hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you liked the video. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, tell your friends about it. And we'll see you again next week for another episode of Jeff and Joe's Puerto Rican Kitchen.